Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Another trip to Dollar Tree, and I can't wait to show you. First up, all of the amazing dishes, and there are three sets available right now. The first up, this gather and pumpkin themed set that comes complete, and you can see the completed set right here all set up for you. The second set available is leaf themed, and it's all things leaves, and they again have it on display for you to see all set up and ready to go right here. Last up is this home set, and this set could be used all year round, which is one of the reasons I love it as well. Now let's talk about some additional tips. I loved these placemats. I picked up some for my home, but if you didn't want to purchase placemats, you could also consider the felt squares that they have in a variety of shapes. I've used these as placemats as well as for other DIYs in my home. I especially love the pumpkins. I found these pumpkin pot holders and I thought they were so cute. In addition to the one that said, hello pumpkin, you can also get plain, which this would work great with the rub on transfers. You can also pick up a variety of chargers. This will go great underneath your dish set. One of the things I like about these is they can be used for every holiday and every season again and again. Also, you can pick up these little serving trays. These metal trays are great for gifts and they're great for this time of year. You can create a centerpiece with these. You can use them to display desserts. So many possibilities and you can use a Dremel to personalize it. I also love these little silver trays. These would be great as a centerpiece. All you have to do is add a few other dollar store supplies like these little glass jarred candles. You could add some water and some cinnamon essential oil to add a fragrance to your home. You could also add some of these candle holders that they had in a variety of colors to that tray to make a lovely centerpiece. If you're looking for something other than candle holders, you could also consider any variety of their pumpkins. These plaster pumpkins were super fun and let me show you a little fun DIY that I made with these white pumpkins. I grabbed a white pumpkin and then I grabbed some apple barrel paint markers. You press the top to let the ink flow into the tip and then you color away and this would be a great project you could make table markers with these, or just a great project for the family to get involved with that day together and they can take it home with them. I painted each section in a variety of colors. You could paint this any way you want. You can also buy these smooth ceramic pumpkins, grab a dry erase marker, and you can do things like write people's names on them to serve as place markers. You can also draw faces on them or write fall words on them. Erase and use again and again. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Here's another easy fall DIY. Grab a dollar store tall candle like this, grab some apple barrel paint pens, and start with the brown and draw the base of a tree. Add some branches and color it in. I added a red heart in the center of the tree trunk. Then I added a variety of colors and started coloring in leaves all over the rest of the tree. I added leaves that fall to the ground, as well as some on the ground as well. I had fun using a variety of colors of red, orange, yellow, green, and more. This is an easy craft that anyone can do and it makes a great gift for anyone to take home after your holiday celebration as well. Another great thing are their fabric pumpkins and you can add these to your centerpiece on your table super easily or grab some of their fabric and then grab some of their styrofoam pumpkins and you can do this yourself. I started with one of their styrofoam pumpkins. Next, I grabbed a couple different options for fabric, but I decided to go with more of the checkered one. I removed the stem in the center, and to my surprise, it revealed a hollow pumpkin, which was perfect for this project. I opened up my fabric and placed the pumpkin on the wrong side of the fabric. I worked my way around the pumpkin, pulling the fabric up and stuffing it into the center of the pumpkin. Lastly, I added a stick for the stem and a leaf. Want to be notified of future videos? Look for the link in the description below. Window clings are great and you can add these to candle holders, to glasses, and more to create easy decor that's removable when the holiday is finished. You can also buy these rub-on transfers that go onto your glassware and then they are removable after the event is finished. 
For this easy DIY, you're gonna need a rub-on transfer and a dollar store picture frame. These frames are double paned and come with two pieces of glass. I took the decal, rub-on transfer, and I removed the backing off and placed it onto the glass. And then I rubbed over it with a card. I then carefully peeled off the front and then added the second piece of glass on top so the glass pieces were against each other, protecting the transfer in the center. I put the frame back together and I had an easy fall sun catcher. Use a dry erase marker and add a name to the glass and you have a place marker. I found these canisters at Dollar Tree. Doesn't this look just like a pumpkin? All I have to do is add a cork to the top and I've got myself a DIY pumpkin. Dollar Tree has amazing candles in a variety of scents. You can get tea lights, jarred candles. Any of these can create amazing DIYs or centerpieces for your home. The Dollar Plus section has these cute, amazing serving trays, and you can use these just about anywhere in your home. They also have these great boards. They come in blessed and in a variety of other options. So sift through them to find the one that works for you. I liked this leaf grateful board. For just $5, you can get an embroidered table runner. These are lovely and they come in a variety of sayings and colors. So pick one that suits you. Grab one of these tic-tac-toe games, have your family help make it, and then enjoy playing it. You can also create lovely centerpieces with some of the other vases and decor that they have in the Dollar Plus section. If you're looking for things to do during the Thanksgiving weekend, grab some of these activity books. There's something for everyone here. In addition to that, go ahead and look around and grab some games. I was able to find Uno for my family, as well as dominoes and checkers. They have fun color form games that keep all your pieces together. There's a variety of puzzles, learning games, and more. So go get a cart full and use them for your Thanksgiving get together. In addition to that, stop by the dollar plus section and you can find some of these knockoff games that are very familiar. Grab a tumble tower package and let's get started on this fun DIY game. I grab my wood burning tool and I engraved a bunch of names into each of the pieces. I put the game together and with each piece that's removed, you say something that resembles what that word is. You can also grab feathers from the crafter's corner section and then grab a colorful tub, which they have great fall colors right now, and play a feather in the bucket game. Toss the feather and have it land into the bucket. Grab a picture frame, Place a napkin on the backboard and a little metal sign. Put the frame back together. Use a dry erase marker to write things that you're grateful for. This is a great activity during the holidays. Once you're done, erase and you can reuse again and again every year. There are also tons of crafts available for you to just grab and go and create. And I hope this inspires you to go check out Taller Tree and create some of these fun DIYs of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Want 21 sensible home hacks to make you a smarter homeowner? Look for the link in the description below.